Uh, I get to do incredible things and see things that the average American doesn't get to see. Uh, meet people that the average American doesn't get to meet uh, who are in service to our country. Uh, I've been to Korea a couple of times and I don't think there's a place on earth where you can feel the difference between freedom and slavery more than standing on the on the border of North and South Korea. And when you stand on that border and you look just a hundred yards away and you see North Korean guards staring at you with little binoculars and you and you have the South Koreans behind you, you realize very quickly that 58 years ago the people in the North uh, were unlucky. The people in the South have been very fortunate for the past 58 years. They have their freedom defended and protected by the United States of America all this time. Um, they were separated from their families in the North. It's, a, it's an odd feeling to stand there um, and, and to feel that. So God bless our Korean War veterans who sacrificed so much to bring freedom to the South Koreans. privilege of introducing one of these great Korean War heroes. Mr. David W. Mills enlisted into the Army on 6 October 1952. After completing basic, basic training at Camp Breckenridge, Kentucky, Private Mills arrived in Korea through the port of Incheon, reporting for duty as a rifleman with F Company, 2nd Battalion, 15th Infantry, 3rd Infantry Division on 7 April 1953. At the time of his arrival, the company was holding Outpost Harry, a forward position in front of the main line of resistance on a dominating hill near the Korean village of Sarong Ni, across from the Iron Triangle. On April 24th, Private Mills was in a bunker in one of the trenches with his M1 rifle. When the nearby gunner was wounded, Private Mills was ordered to take over his position and weapon as the only man in his fighting position. In approximately 2230 hours, a massive enemy artillery bombardment hammered the company position, followed shortly thereafter by a major Chinese assault in battalion strength. Private Mills remained at his position and all other automatic weapons were knocked out in brutal hand-to-hand -hand fighting. He continued to fight despite being surrounded by the enemy until his BAR became inoperable. He was taken prisoner while searching for another usable weapon. Private Mills had been wounded nine times in the fighting. Twice in the head, six times in the leg, once in the arm. He was 17 years old. Private Mills left Outpost Harry in Chinese custody, believing he was the last remaining American alive. In actuality, his company had suffered 72 casualties out of 88 men on the position. Private Mills was a Chinese prisoner of war for four months, and he was repatriated August 24th, 1953. He'd received no medical treatment for his wounds. He served the remainder of his enlistment as a military policeman. Private Mills received the POW Medal, the Purple Heart, the Combat Infantryman's Badge, the Bravery Medal of Greece, the Korean War Service Medal of the Republic of Korea, the Korean Service Medal with one Bronze Star, the United Nations Service Medal, the National Defense Service Medal, and the Good Conduct Medal. After leaving the Army, Mr. Mills graduated from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania with a Bachelor of Science in Economics and Master of Business Administration, de Administration degrees. He held senior financial management positions with medical centers in New York, Florida, and Pennsylvania, and retired from his final position as Chief Executive Officer of Odd Fellows Home of Pennsylvania an office he held from 1980 to 2001.